For the following exercises, rewrite each equation in logarithmic form. So in the previous video, we had these log equations, and we had to write them in terms of exponential form. So if you look at what we have here, is we're taking this exponential form, and it wants us to write it in logarithmic form. So that's what we're going to do now. So if I look back at the definition here, it says y equals log base b of x is equivalent to by equals x. So this is where we're starting at now. And we're going to have to take this form and write it in the log form here. So a big thing to understand here is notice that the number, the base number here is my b in both of those. The y is what I'm equal to. And then the x is what I'm taking the log of. So it's those components have to keep straight here. So let's go back to our problem now. So again, you probably don't remember what, we're, what we had for our equivalent um, statement here. So here it is. So what we're going to do with this equivalent statement now is we're going to say, okay, let's convert it. So I'm going to write... Now remember, what's what here? So my b is my base. So that's going to be log of 4. Okay, now that's where I'm pulling it from. So this here is this should be the same as my base. That's my base for both. And what I'm taking the log of is my x here, which is what my exponential equals. So this would be the log of y. And this equals x. So what's a little confusing about this one is when I look at the equivalent form and I look at number 16 there, they're both using x and y, but they're backwards. If I look at my, my uh, number 16 here, I say, wow. So when I look at this, this is my y in my formula. And this y is my x in the formula. So it really mixes things up a little. And that's why I wanted to bring it over here. So now let's take a look at another one of these now. I think this form is probably harder to convert. And that's also why I brought it here. So let's take a look at number 18. We'll try 18 now. Okay, so my m. And again, notice how I start here. Log base m. And then I'm taking the log of n. And that equals negative 7. So again, slow down a little bit if you need to. These definitely take getting used to. So I'm going to do one more. So remember, this was 16. This was 18. And now we're going to do 20. So now I'm going to say negative 10 thirteenths equals log base x. And the x is the base is usually the easiest thing to notice for everyone. I don't know why, it just is. Maybe because it's in the same place and they use the same letter. But everything else is susceptible to change. So that's what we end up with in the logarithmic form for all three of those. And again, we're just following this equivalency down here. Nothing more. And the reason for this is we have to get used to it because we're going to start dealing with these in terms of values, evaluating, solving equations, and all these other components. So Get this process down. Don't just say, ah, oh, get it later. Make sure you get this process down for that reason. We're going to use it throughout this whole section, few sections.